Today, I'm in the city of Maastricht. Here, I will be interviewing a very special guest about unconscious bias. Unconscious biases are social stereotypes about certain groups of people that individuals form outside their own conscious awareness. The person who I'm going to interview is Tetsuro Miyazaki. He is the founder of the Harvard to Harvard project in which he tries to take as many photographs of half Japanese people as he can. This means that these people are 50% Japanese and 50% from a different nation. Next to that, Miyazaki also initiated the Expat or Migrant project. He explains that people have the understanding that expats are here to bring something, while migrants are here to take something away. This is due to the negative feelings and prejudices we have towards migrants. So unconscious bias, you can uh, actually uh, relate this to, to uh, social uh, stereotypes that people have. And uh, But how would you define uh, social uh, or unconscious bias itself? And also, uh, how do you feel when you hear the term? All right. Well, um, well I guess unconscious bias is is related to prejudice mm -hmm. um, presumption you have of, of people right um, and then unconscious that you're not aware of so you have a certain idea you see someone and you project um, assumptions on that person mm -hmm. um, unconscious bias um, for me has a as a negative connotation mm -hmm. um, but I think we can't live without expectations of people right. because people nowadays they experience it uh, mainly by uh, having a foreign sounding name for example uh, a, a Dutch guy here in the Netherlands could have uh, uh, his name uh, well it could be for example Mohammed but then he wouldn't get employed because right. of his name right. so do you think you have experienced it yourself um, well this example for me hasn't um, it because you have otherwise. a Japanese sounding yeah, yeah, name yeah. so so it, it works more in, in my advantage mm -hmm. to have a Japanese name okay. because we have positive associations with Japan. Okay. Um, like the other project that I did, mm -hmm. expat versus migrant. Right. Mohammed is, an, is a migrant. Mm -hmm. Miyazaki, my case, mm -hmm. is an expat. Yes. So there's a positive association with my name. So mm -hmm. there's um, unconscious positive bias right. uh, with my name mm -hmm. that I've done nothing for. So I yeah. have no claim to it. <laughs> Um, That's a very strange but thing, but it's but it's it, it's hard, um, uh, but it, it exists. So, do you think uh, uh, collectivism and also uh, indiv individualism could be linked with uh, unconscious bias? Do you think that? And it, uh, if yes, in what way? Um, I'm not sure if um, if individualism or collectivism have have a different. Um, relation mm -hmm. or if it's differently related okay. to uh, unconscious bias I exist I think it exists in the same way in in, in both type of cultures mm -hmm. we have a um, individualistic mm -hmm. um, society there are more collectivistic societies uh, in other parts of the world I don't think that the unconscious bias mm -hmm. is different in, in both places okay from the interview, it's clear that unconscious biases happens everywhere and some people are less fortunate than others when they experience it, for example in the case with foreign sounding names. However, because it's a big problem, even big tech companies such as Facebook is trying their best to manage unconscious bias because they believe they will become a more inclusive organization.